Good morning. Today we expect a sluggish start and a choppy session in view of the FNO expiry. The finish will hinge on FNO adjustments, earnings and more importantly global queues. The action will continue in select non-index counters. RIL results have been a little disappointing and may continue to pressure the overall sentiments. The results will continue to pour in over the next few days and will have a role in shaping the market's direction. What is also slightly worrisome is the drop in the core sector growth in June. U.S. stocks fell on Fed's latest assessment of the U.S. economy and a door report on durable goods orders. Stocks also fell in Europe. China is the only market which is holding in green in Asia. The results to be declared today are Alok Industries, Aban Offshore, Apollo Tires, Arvind, Bata India, Bank of Maharashtra, BOB, Federal Bank, GHCL, GE Shipping, GSPL, HCL Tech, HDIL, Hero Honda, Hexaware, IPCA Labs, JB Chemicals, Kalpataru Power, Nagarjuna Fertilizers, National Fertilizers, NHPC, Novartis India, ONGC, OBC, Petronet LNG, Sale, Siemens, TTML, and Ultratech Cement. FIIs will net buyers of Rs 5.93 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday on a provisional basis as per figures published on the NSE website. The local funds will net sellers of Rs 6.9 billion. In the FNO segment, they will net buyers at Rs 8.49 billion. On Tuesday, the FIIs will net buyers of Rs 815 million in the cash segment and the mutual funds will net buyers at Rs 87 million on the same day. The other news for the day is infrastructure growth slips 3.4% for the month of June. Finance Ministry has proposed dedicated funds to channelize foreign savings into the infrastructure sector. RBI to assess reality rending curbs in November. Bombay High Court has granted an interim stay on service tax levied by Union Government on buildings under construction. EGOM fails to decide on KGD6 gas allocation. Personal computer sales grow by 18% in financial year 2010. Union Ministry for New and Renewable Energy to hold talks with banks on funding solar projects. RIL and SR all join race to buy BP's Africa assets. Adani Enterprise to invest Rs 65 billion in coal mining. Yes Bank to raise approximately Rs 4.5 to 5 billion in quarter 2 to fund its business growth. Reinsurers have settled a bonds. 235 million US dollar claims for its semi submersible rig. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed contracts worth 700 million pounds with BAE Systems and Rolls Royce. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on Sun TV. We recommend traders to buy with the stock above levels of Rs 463 with stop loss at Rs 455 for immediate target of Rs 482. Traders are advised to add fresh longs on a successful move past Rs 470. And a buy on Divis Laboratories, we advise buying the stock above levels of Rs 777 with a stop loss at Rs 765 for a target price of Rs 801. The derivative strategies are Long Reliance Industries August Future in the range of Rs 1030 to Rs 1032 for a target price of Rs 1052 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 1019. And Long Reliance Power, August future in the range of Rs. 172.50 to 173.50 for a target price of Rs. 180.50 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 168.50. Thank you and have a great day ahead.